Alright, Shalawam. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahawa by Hashem Shai. We give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and I do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole land since I left. This is the brother Marcus out here in Trinidad once again prophesied. You know, about the end of the ages. Alright, the end of Esau's kingdom. As the scripture says, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Alright? And a lot of people they can't see the things that will follow after. They can't see the hereafter. All they can see is the now. Alright? All they can see is the now. And just like the wicked men in wisdom of Solomon, they said, let us enjoy the things that are present because that is their lot. They believe that all things will forever continue as they are. Alright? He saw so-called white man, he's gonna remain in power. He's going to remain in his power forever. And all we had to do is just rule under him. And not even rule under him, it's just serve under him. Alright? The scriptures talk about what profit a man, if he lose his soul and gain the world. And you see a lot of people, a lot of our people, celebrities, alright, that be out here making billions and millions. They have to do some heinous crimes, soul cooking and all these um, sacrifices. All these hellish sacrifices, just like, and it's nothing new. The scripture said there is nothing new under the sun because they were worshipping Balaam and Molech. And in the ancient time, in, um, in Gehenna, that is who they was worshipping when they were sacrificing their own children. All right, so men like Jay Z, men like Dr. Dre, all right. Tyrese, all these, all these celebrities, and the reason why I cook because I was speaking about G. We 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 out here for you know the other nations. So, so to how would we the other nations do? We out here for for Israel. All right. Now they were they were back there in the ancient times sacrificing the children unto Molech, putting them through the fire, and that is why the scriptures talk about uh, being destroyed in the fire of hell. When you look up the word hell. In Matthew, it goes back to Gehenna, which goes back to Gaya Hanum. Gaya Hanum, the valley of Hanum, where the Lord told Jeremiah, we call it the valley of slaughter. That is where they used to, you know, sacrifice the children. And the Lord, he was, you know, using Gehenna as an allegory for the judgment to come. All right, but a lot of our people they sacrificing their children, putting them to death, putting their family members to death, all for money. All for money's sake. That's why the scripture said the love of money, not money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil because I ain't even gonna talk about the the things that women do because a lot of these women they have, you know. And if it falls in your garden, then hey, that is on you. But I'm not speaking about woman as a collective. I'm speaking about who it who it pertains to. Alright? Yeah, as we see, um, to whom it may consume. Alright? You know, a lot of these women they be, they sell their body for money. Alright? But when it comes to these men, men also sell their body. Men become homosexuals for money's sake. Men Men that grew up all their life masculine will put off their masculinity, emasculate themselves for money. Wear dresses, take it up the rear for money. Alright? And that is why the scriptures talk about the things that they do in evil in, in, in the, the evil that they do in secret. The Lord, and that is why in 1 John 3 it says, men love dark, not in 1 John. St. John 3 Men love darkness rather than light Let me read that real quick This is the book of St. John Chapter 3 And verse um, Boom 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 verse 19 it says and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light 
because their deeds were evil. Their deeds evil, so they rather stay in the darkness. That is why you see they're always dressing in all black. All right? It says, for everyone that do it evil, hated the light, neither come it to the light, lest their deeds be made money, um, lest, lest their deeds be reproved. All right? And that is why you see a lot of these colorful people, when you call them out, you know, they call it a hate crime. If somebody call me, you know, a, um, a heterosexual, why would I be angry at that? Why would I want to protest against that? That is what I am. I am proud of being a heterosexual. But you know that what you're doing against nature, so that is why when they call you that word, you get all irate. You get all belligerent. Because why? Because it cuts. You don't want to hear about the evil that you're doing. All right? It says, but he that do it truth come into the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they were wrought in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So we're not afraid of the light. All right? That is why we're out here prophesying these words. We ain't preaching in darkness. We're preaching out here on video so that all can see that all we're preaching is thus said the Lord. And the things that we're preaching are true because guess what? The Lord the Lord can justify us, justify our word, justify his words in us because he's going to bring them to pass. And then all the world will see that, hey, these were truly the men of the Lord. These were truly the men of the Lord, beginning with the apostles all the way down, that preached the, 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 the doctrine of Great Millstone, the apostles' doctrine. All right? But not deviating and preaching the true gospel. It will be soon realized that as the scripture says he, that he will be glorified in his sins all right he will be glorified in his sins because we preach revelation chapter 14 and 4 there was no guile found in our mouth we didn't we didn't distort the doctrine all right but when we come out here and preach you people have our issue with it so really and truly what we are we are menace to society to you to you people, we are minister society. All right, that is why in Psalms 120 and verse 7 it says, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. All right, to you, we are, we are enemy of the state, we are public enemy number one. But all we are just men of the Lord, lambs, dogs, harmless. All right, we don't even bite. We're out here with our spiritual soul because this is our spiritual warfare. All right, heralding the coming of our Lord. This is a this is what you call a peaceful protest. All right, but you people have a problem with it. And when you look up the word menace, the word menace means to threaten or or a threat. So we're not threatening you people. We're not saying that we're gonna do this and in the morning, early in the mornings we're gonna come and do that. No, we ain't saying nothing like that. But our words threatening to you. Our words threatening. Yahaba Shemir Shai's words that he put in all mouth threatening to you. Because we prophesy in the end of your kingdom, the end of your rulership. We prophesy about the, 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 the glory that the Lord Yahaba Shemir Shai is going to bring upon his people and the destruction that he's going to bring onto the wicked. Alright? It says, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 10, it says, For this for his letters, they say, are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak, presence is weak, and his speech contemptible. Yeah. And it's the same thing for all of us. Our speech are contemptible. It's contemptible to the wicked. It's contemptible to the wicked. It's a stumbling block unto the wicked. But it's a refuge. It's a refuge. It's a strong tower for, for the ones that turn from darkness to light turn from unrighteous to righteousness right this is um 
first John chapter 2 and verse 29 it says if ye if ye know that he is righteous you know that everyone that with righteousness is born of him so we are born of Yahaba Shimei Shai. that is why it says we are the sons of the Most High jumping on to chapter 3 and verse 7 it says little children let no man deceive you it says he that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous so yes yeah, so we are righteous because we practice and we rehearse the righteous acts we walking up to the standards of Yahaba Shimei Shai. all right so they'll do that nobody deceive you and that is why faith faith is for the long run faith is for the long run you think faith is only when things good with you that you could say yeah i have faith in the lord because i've seen him dealing with me what about any days when the lord delay to deliver you all right because um um When you look, I believe is the word, I think it's tried. I can't remember in what chapter, what book, what chapter, but when it, it goes back to basically doing tests, experiments. So the Lord running experiments to see how you would react, how you would, what you would do. Just like with, with um, Abraham, that was an experiment to see if Abraham, that is why he said, now I know that thou fears the most high. All right? So, your faith, your faith is supposed to go so far. Your faith is supposed to go so far that you will be praying during the hour of martial law that, you know, the police don't catch you, the military don't catch you, they don't catch you and your family. And you pray, you pray, you earnestly praying for that. All right? And then, boom, 3 o'clock in the morning, they break your door down. And when they break your door down, they take you and your family. And then, you, your prayer change. So you pray now that, Lord, don't let it hurt my family. And you keep praying. But guess what? They're tormenting you to deny the Lord. And because you're not giving up, they turn to your family. So they start putting your family to death one by one, starting from the from your youngest child starting from your newborn baby they start killing them one by one all right so now your faith in that hour being tested that is why revelation chapter 2 and 10 all right to try them that dwell on the earth they're gonna be a time of great trial all right and that is how far your faith had to go and then when you keep praying and you begging lord lord don't let them kill my children and then you still see they kill your children one by one right there and then the moment of doubt it could be the moment of doubt where you can lean to the left or the moment of faith where you just lean right into your harbor shimmy and says it will be done all right and when you realize they kill a family guess what where is they could take from you you know is the only is the ultimate thing they could take from you your integrity your faith in your harbor, Shemi and Shai. So don't let them take your dignity. As the song goes, you cannot take away my dignity. Hold on to that. That is why, let me read that one. Um, this is. This is first John First John chapter 4 start at verse 16. It says, And we know and, and we have known and believed the love that Yahaba Shai had to us. So you believe in it? So the Lord Yahaba Shai can put it to the test. Alright? It says, Yahweh is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in Yahweh, and Yahweh in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. You don't have boldness. You don't know that, hey, that the Lord, the Lord, gonna, what, what, what did Paul say? Paul said that now I know that the crown is laid up for me. 
have run the race, have completed, have, have completed the fate. All right. So you have to, you have to have that fate. Not only the law, but in itself that hey, you know that you, you kept the faith. You did your utmost best. All right, and you weren't bullshitting. All right. It says. It says. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in the world. The scripture says, and um, I believe is um, that's bad, man. Matthew 5 and 48, be therefore perfect even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. And that is how we, we are to be, just as he is perfect. We are to try, we are to strive for perfection. We are to also strive for perfection, right? And perfection is something within, it's something within your heart. Lab, go back to your mind, all right? And it's something that shines out. It's not something that starts from outside, where you just have a form of godliness. The godliness had to be inside, all right? The godliness is, is in within. And then men will see that godliness, where they will be able to say, there's something about you. They can't explain. There's not because oh, you dress godly or you, you 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 always have one jacket and tie or you know you have your beard well groomed or you have a sad countenance or always have a cheerful countenance, but then inside you're wicked as hell. Nah, that is not where godliness is. Godliness is it starts with your heart. That is where repentance starts from your heart. It's not without, it's from within. It's from a pure conscience all right and then it will shine out then all men will see it all right it says um there is no fear in love but perfect love casteth out fear because fear had torment he that fear it is not made perfect in love all right so if you fear because it wasn't made perfect in love so if any day of in, 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 in martial law because they're killing your children and because you pray and ask the Lord to, to not pay your children to death and you see your children dying you start doubting if the Lord really dealing with you so then you might have one child remain and probably your firstborn and then your wife so you start doubting and they might be saying in your head you see the Lord not dealing with you why did, if the Lord was dealing with you he would not allow us to kill your children he would stop us didn't you say, didn't you say the Lord great? Didn't you say the Lord great? Let me read this real quick. Let me read this real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 and verse 10. Let us oppress the poor and righteous man and let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our um, strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be not in wood it says therefore let us lie in wait for the righteous because he is not of our turn and is and he is clean contrary to our doings yeah and that is why i say we are menace because we're not like them where we're told you know because we run not with them with the same excess of right they speak evil of us they seek to do us harm all right, he that turned it from wickedness, Zechariah 13, verse 3. He that turned it from, 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 um, from wickedness, make it himself a prey. All right, it says, King contrary to our doings, he upbraided us with our offending the law. He objected to our infamy and transgressing of our education. He professed to have the knowledge of Yahweh and he called it himself the child of the Lord. So, all right, so you call yourself the child of the Lord. So, there is where the wicked God and say unto, the, unto you. It says, He was made to refuse, reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold. For his life is not like other men's. His ways are not of, his ways are of another fashion. It says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstained from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make it his boast that Yahabash Mesha is his father. Let us see if his words be true. So there is the test they're gonna run. 
it says let us prove what will happen to him in the ha happen in the end of him it says for if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies and that is what they're going to tell you if the Lord is your God he will deliver you he would not allow you to be in this situation all that work you did for the Lord I thought I thought you were preaching because we used to watch your videos this is what they would say they would say we used to watch your videos and you always preach and said that the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love towards his name so if the Lord is not unfaithful to forget your labor of love why is the Lord not here right now to deliver you and then doubt gonna start coming to your mind. You know you have a shagun and say, Oh, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? You just had to hold on. Even if you had to die, the scripture said, be thou faithful unto death. It says, present unto the Lord is the death of his sins. Alright? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Guess what? Whether we live or whether we die, we're gonna be your shies. Wherever you're lost, you're gonna gain a hundredfold. So you never truly lose anything in this in this truth. All right, what are you gonna do? Save your children's life for the Lord to leave you behind, and that is why the Lord said that uh, um, that if you're not be, if you that you will be clothed in Revelation, that you'll not be found naked. If you do that, you're gonna be clothed. You're gonna be found naked because you saved your life. You deny the faith. You deny the harbor shame or shine. So you gotta hold on to that. Hold on to that because that is your first child. That is your first love. Your, your, your seed can't save you, but wisdom can. Your faith in your Haba Hashem is the only thing that can save you. They were saved through wisdom. So hold on to that. Right? Um, verse 18. In verse 19 it says let us examine him with despitefulness and torture yeah they're gonna torture you and your kids all right that we may know his meekness and prove his patience let us condemn him with a shameful death for by his own saying he shall be respected by your own saying so they're gonna put your words in the test and really is the lord allowing it to see to see the Lord allowing that to see if you really for him. But just remember, there's a crown laid up for you. Oh, death, where's thy sting? That is just a sting. They can't kill you twice. They can't kill you twice. Yahweh Shai pray that the cup will be taken away. But then when the Lord didn't answer him, when Yahweh Shai didn't answer him, he said, What, Lord, as, let thy will be done. Let thy will be done. And like the mindset that we had to have, why I think it was written, it was written up four times for our learning, Romans 15 and 4. That we will have patience and faith and hope that just as the Lord raised Yahweh Shai up, he will also raise us up. And if in that day you doubting that we're going to raise us up, guess what? By now you should be putting on the Bible. By now you should be putting on the Bible. If you doubting, if the Bible is true, if Yahweh is really his name, if Yahweh is really his name, you shouldn't be out here. Alright? But if you had a doubt, hey, you better try your best to get rid of it. You better try your utmost best to get rid of it. Alright? It says, such things did they imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness had blinded them. All right so yeah so the wicked was deceived you know why because the righteous can stand tall um, stand tall the righteous can stand tall you can live by his you can be saved by his righteousness because that righteous man had faith in the lord and just like the lord putting you through experiments you also have to learn from them experiments see when the lord casts you down or when the lord take you up that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Just remember that. Just remember that. The apostles, they died. You think Yahweh couldn't easily send lightning down and stop them and stop them from being executed? But nah, 
they were fit for mortars all right they were fit for mortars if we don't die then the scriptures can't fulfill the scripture says they come into the um to receive all the righteous blood revelation chapter 6 and verse 9 talking about all day that were beheaded for the sake of yahweh shai if we don't die then yahweh shai is not true so yes yeah, some of us will die some of us have to die so just prepare your mind for that the scripture says thy heart shall meditate terror that is the terror you should be meditating meditate the terror that could be done unto you that you will say hey, you know what let me take my debt let me take my debt Right. Strive for the truth unto death. Alright. Ecclesiastes 428. In the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things. That is what it says. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. As we said, concentration comes. That he may be tried. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Be faithful unto death. Be faithful unto death. All right. And why? Wait. It says, if we was if if we were doing things according to their to their standards, they wouldn't cause to death. But the reason they putting us to death is the same reason why they taking down all the videos of YouTube and all these things, putting strikes on brothers' pages. Because why? Because the truth coming out, and they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. All right, they want to hear lies. All right, they want the scriptures talk about he that make it and believe it a lie. They they, they want to hear lies. They love lies. All right. You're of your father the devil all right he's the father of lies all right and as i said before they consider us menaces to society and we look up the word menace it means a threat we are a threat to them because why are we speaking against the kingdom this is revelation chapter 11 Start at verse 8 it says and their dead body shall lie in the street of that great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified and they of the uh, of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves and they that dwell on earth upon the earth shall rejoice over them so they were rejoicing over us where we were cast down and and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth yeah so you know we we are we are torn in their side just like um john was to herod and herodias that is why herodias had John beheaded because he was a thorn in her side. All right, they don't they don't want their works to be reproved. They don't want to be told about you know the wickedness that they're doing. All right, so that is why you know they will seek to get rid of us. They will seek to get rid of us because they don't want to be reproved of their wickedness. But guess what? The scripture says Yahweh is the judge. You ain't gonna escape judgment. You're not gonna escape judgment. Just like they talk about Simeon Toko. Alright, black Jesus. We well, told them, he said, Yeah, you want to get rid of me? Alright, so I won't come back. He says, But the time coming in the future where more like me will come and you will not be able to stop them. You're not gonna be able to stop the judgment that coming. The mighty works of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. You can't put it to an end. 
That is what you're trying to do. You're trying to tr throw off offset and distort the scriptures to offset prophecy. But guess what? It's gonna come. It's gonna come. All right. And just now they're gonna see the Lord Yahweh Shemir Shai coming in the clouds, in the chariots of heaven. All right. The scripture said, "All I shall see it." And in that day, that is when they're gonna know the end is the end is near. That is why the Lord always showing them chariot sightings. All right, that is why the Lord always showing them chariot sightings. That is why the Lord always flexing his muscles in front of them. All right, showing you how chariots, you know, they 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 could go from stand still to Mark ten. Dive into the sea without making a splash. Go invisible and come visible. All right, miles, miles away within, within. I think, I think one, one incident said the chariot it disappeared and appeared. Um, I think it was 20 miles away in the matter of two seconds or, or, or a second or something like that. Something like that. Show sure how, how fast, you know. The Lord technology is because they're gonna raise up the fight, but they ain't gonna be able to win that war. That would that, that war gonna be the war to end all wars. And all these things we prophesying is why we are menace to society. They don't want to hear about the end of their kingdom. They don't want to hear the end. First Kings chapter 18 and verse 17 and it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said unto him art thou he that troubleth Israel so yeah so they look at us like we troubling them all right they looking at us like we troubling you to you we are men of society and all we out here is for peace we prophesy in the Lord's word we prophesy in the Lord's word but guess what you know why you know why you know the word is a problem for them since Philippians chapter 1 and verse 28 it says and in nothing be terrified of your adversaries which is to them an evident token of perdition so the word is an evident token of perdition to you. Is an evident token of your destruction. And that is why you hate us. That is why you are afraid. That is why you want us off the streets. That is why you flag our videos. That is why you take them down. That is why you want to get rid of the internet. Because you don't want to hear the words. It's just like with um and let me finish this. It says, I be token of perdition, but to you salvation and that of Yahweh. That is why they don't want. That is why they don't want to hear the word, because it's a constant reminder that they're gonna be destroyed. This is Acts 7 I said that verse 51 Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears Ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did so do ye Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted And they have slain them which, um, which should before of the coming of the just one of whom you have now been of have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received um the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it all right so so stephan stephan was cutting them it says when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and that is why hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12 said he was that he would be more size quick like a two-edged sword 
all right so they get cut when they hear these words and they, they don't want to hear it it says and when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth and he being full of the holy spirit looked up steadfastly into into heaven and saw the glory of Yahweh, saw the chariot and Yahweh is standing on the right hand of Yahweh and said, Behold, I see heavens open and the son of Yahweh standing on the right hand of Yahweh. He says, Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears. They don't want to hear it. So just like now, they turned the, they turned the, the, the computers off, like Vocab Malone and all of these. When, when, when we prophesy out here, they don't want to hear the word. All right, so they seek ways to come against the man of the Lord. All right, they seek ways to come against the man of the Lord because they don't want to hear the word. But the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he can have his way. All right, and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet, whose name was Saul. All right, so just like what they did to Stephen. All right. All right, yeah. So just like what they did to Stephen, all right, they're gonna try to do to us. They're gonna try to do to that same thing to us. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 2 says, And it shall come to pass that in that day, said Yahweh Shemel Shai, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and they shall no more be remembered. And also I will cause the prophets and the unclean spirits to pass out of the land. And it shall come to pass that when any shall yet prophesy, when his father and his mother who begat him shall say unto him, Thou shalt not live. For those speakers lies in the name of the Lord, his father and his mother, um, that begat him shall trust him true when he prophesied. All right? So, you know, they, 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 they're going to seek to pass the death because they say we speak in lies. All right? Matching up with um, John 16. It says Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilences. Alright? So he prophesied against countries. Alright? They prophesied about the downfall of these countries. And that is, and that is how you know we become minister society. They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear about their downfall. They don't want to hear about their end. Scripture said the end of all things is at hand. All right? The end of all things is at hand. And by us prophesying, the scripture says, you know, speak unto them, whether they will hear, whether they will forbear. All right? It said, depart from us. Let me read that. Job 21 and verse 14 Therefore they say unto Yahweh, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him, and what profit should we have if we prone to him? So they don't they, they desire the ways of the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Hashai, and that is why they're going to be destroyed. Now, when we say the wicked, we're not only talking about the wicked amongst Esau, because Esau is the wicked. But they are also wicked amongst all people. As the scripture in Jeremiah chapter 5 said, Among my people are found wicked men. Alright? Among my people are found wicked men. And the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is going to destroy them also. 
all the men that that what that had pleasure in unrighteousness that choose not to follow Yahweh Hashem or even turn from worshiping Yahweh Hashem they are all gonna be destroyed. That is why in Matthew chapter seven it says many of them are gonna say, Lord, Lord. Just like um, you know, the ones that now coming back out the woodwork, they weren't there for years, all right, and now they're coming back out because why? And it was always prophesied, beginning with the apostles. And the elders, all of us at one point, spoke about men that used to preach. They will come out in these end days, prophesying as though they never went anywhere. Because why? Because they've seen the prophecies coming to pass. They've seen the prophecies coming to pass. They've seen the end. You know why they come back out? Because the scripture says, Blessed are your eyes for you see. At one point, they thought the Lord was taking too long to come. So they were saying, nah, This is probably in the time. Probably another time. Probably another lifetime. So let me just go back to, you know, enjoy my life. Time here is short and tedious. I might as well go and see the world, go and tour, go and do all sorts of things. It makes no sense going out on the highways and byways and preaching now. All right? In their mind, they're thinking, you know, there were there many prophets before me, people that call themselves prophets, and we'll be reading from the Bible, you know, and Nathana, all of them, they were doing it. But the time, it, as the scripture says, see if I can find a real quick. Alright, so I believe it's in Daniel when, he, when the Lord told Daniel when he said um, you know, the vision basically like the thing is true but the time is not yet. Alright? So that is their mindset. They believe that yeah it's true but, but it's not now. Alright? And that is why in, in um, Ezekiel Ezekiel 12 and verse 22 it says son of man what is the proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision fail it that is the mindset of them the vision fail it they're thinking ah, it's, it's, it's for many days tell them therefore does say to Yahweh I will make this proverb to cease and it's ceasing right now that's why they're coming back out and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For they shall no more, for they shall be no more any vain vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. It says, For I, Yahaba Shemiah Shai, I will speak the word, and it shall come to pass. It says, It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said Yahweh Shemi Shai. Alright? And they seen it. For you know, they, you know, because of the war that happened over there in Israel, between Israel and Palestine, they're coming out the woodworks because they're saying, yeah, this, this look like it, this looking like, you know, this will lead to, to, to World War III. But guess what? There's still the, the, the mark of the beast. Say martial law. All right. So, yeah, you've seen parts of the times and coming back out. But then, let's say that that, that situation with Israel cool down. We're gonna happen. We're gonna go back into hiding. We're gonna go back into a hibernation until something happens 
that stirs up, that gives you a shake up and wakes you out of your slumber. You come like the lead the army tiger in the cave of wonders in Aladdin who disturbed my slumber. And then you go and you're looking up and you're seeing all the things that happen and then you come out here with all your books and the Bible, you blow the dust off and you're out there. Thus said the Lord. It don't work like that. It don't work like that because the Lord going to be looking for your attendance. The Lord going to be looking for your attendance. Where were you? Where were you? You're going to be like that, that marathon runner, I believe was a woman. What she did, she actually, I think it was a bus. She took, whatever vehicle she took, she took a ride. All right? To bypass all the other, you know, runners. Till she reached close to the finish line and she, she jumped out, you know, to, to make it cross the finish line. And she was found out and she was disqualified. You can't do that with your harbour, Hashemi Hashai. There's no loopholes. You can't do that. You can't, you know, enter no other way in. This is the, this is the entrance you have to go through. You have to be out here laboring in the heat of the day. All right? You can't see your brothers out here laboring and you go in the cool and sit down and then in the, in the 11 hour and 59 second you want to jump back out hot and sweaty just before the master come to make it look like you know you were there laboring and and not only laboring because you were well rested you're gonna be you're gonna be you know well paying the work in so you could look like yeah this brother always been been on it he always been full but he, he been this he been that and the guess what you're looking and say now nah. I had I had I had my, my servants watching and they said you were sitting down all day. So depart from me. I don't know you. I didn't hire you. Alright? Because the Lord ain't fully. The scripture said the Lord is not mocked. And a lot of you men believe that the Lord is mocked. A lot of you believe that the Lord don't see. And, and a lot of you believe that judgment passed. But judgment ain't passed. The Lord said He likened His judgment like a ring. It ain't passed here. As we, as that is all saying, we ain't passed here in this year. It ain't for judgment. Judgment is set. The scripture said the judgment is set. So the Lord will soon do His judgment. All right. And all you wicked, the Lord gonna destroy you off the face of the earth. All right. Unless you repent. Unless you repent, as the scripture says. Um says do good is um Tobit chapter 13 This is the book of Tobit chapter 13 and verse 6 it says if you turn to him with your whole heart and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth. Because that is our duty. And praise the Lord of might and extol the everlasting king. In the land of the captivity do I praise him and declare his might and majesty in a sinful nation. It says, all ye sinners turn and do justice before him. It says, who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? So he said, turn and do justice. You don't know if the Lord will turn and do good. You don't know. We don't know. So that is why we doing what we doing. We doing what we doing because we hoping, we hoping, we hoping to receive salvation from the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right? That is why we're doing what we're doing. It's Jeremiah chapter 26 and verse 1. In the beginning of the reign of Je um, Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, came this word 
from Yahweh, saying, Thus said Yahweh, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house, and all the word that I command thee to speak unto them, diminish not a word. It says, If so be they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way, it says that I may repent me of the evil. So that is what the Lord wants. The Lord wants you to turn from your wicked way and live. He said for what? This is Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 11. Say unto them, as I live, say, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his wicked way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. Or why will ye die, O house of Israel? So the Lord is saying, turn from your evil ways. You have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his wickedness. That is why the Lord sent us out here. He sent us out here to give you warning for your sake. He said, because the Lord loves his people, he sent his prophets be time to give you warning. Alright, how shall I say I have no cloak for sins? Alright? Verse 4. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, If you will not hearken unto me to walk in my law, which I have set before you, to hearken to the words of my servants the prophets, whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, it says, But ye have not hearkened. Alright? It says, Then will I make this house like Shiloh and make this city a curse all the nations of the earth so the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord and it came to pass when Jeremiah had made an end to speaking all that Yahweh Shemesh had commanded him to speak unto all the people that the priests and the prophets and all the people took him saying thou shalt surely die a menace that what Jeremiah was a menace that what all the prophets were menace why you think they asked Um, Samuel, come as thou peaceably. All right. Verse nine it says, "Whilst thou prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and the city shall be desolate without an inhabitant." And all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. It says, when the princes of Judah heard these things, then they came up from the king's house unto the house of the Lord and sat down in the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. Then spake the priests and the prophets unto the princes, unto the princes and to all the people saying, this man is worthy to die for he had prophesied against the city as he heard with your ears. Then spake Jeremiah unto all the princes and all the people saying, Yahweh sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city all the word that you have heard. All right? It says what? It says, Therefore now amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of Yahweh your God. It says, And Yahweh Shemir shall repent him of the evil that he had pronounced against you. As for me, behold, I am in your hand. Do with me as seem it good to meet you. And that is... That is you know how the mindset that we are to have all right so we, we are out here to speak for you to turn back to the lord you have a shimmy or shy if you if you turn to the lord then the lord the judgment will overpass you the judgment gonna come but you're not gonna be you know caught up in the judgment but hey do what you have to do it says we here if you want to pass the death you do what you have to do at the end of the day it all goes back to you have a shimmy or shy I believe it's Psalms 105. I'm going to check real quick. Psalms 105 and 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed. Neither do my prophets no harm. So yeah. So it's up to the Lord, Yahweh Shemir Shai. If 
I am the scripture says Psalms. So while I read that scripture. Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our God is a God of salvation. And unto Yahabah Shemiah Shai belong the issues from death. So the issues are that belong to the Lord. Yahweh Shai said it. Not one dove gonna die unless the Heavenly Father says so. All, all things, you know, are ordered by the Most High. That is why the scripture said, Wisdom sweetly does she order all things are right. The Lord, why can the Lord have all these angels? You think flowers bloom on their own? The Lord have angels dealing with that. The Lord have angels dealing with famine, dealing with the seasons. The Lord have angels dealing with the seeds, you know, springing up. All right? The Lord order all things. The Lord order all things and the angels are the ones that go out and do it. They do his bidding. Psalm 68, again. We go back to Psalm 68. This is Psalm 68 and 11. The Lord gave the word and great was the company of those that published it. Great was the company of those that published it. The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the order. And his sanctified ones and his mighty ones perform his will. The sanctified ones are the prophets, his mighty ones who the angels. We all do his wills. We are all the messengers of Yahweh, Shemir al Shai, performing his will in heaven and in earth. All right? People think that the Lord come down here to do everything for himself now. What is the purpose of all these angels? All right? They perform the will of the Lord. Psalms 40 and 8 says, I delight to do thy will. As the Lord said, Angel, do this. Before the Lord said this, they're gone. Because they're just waiting for the orders of the Lord. To, um, you know, just like the, 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 the angels that give glory unto the Lord forever. Alright? That is their glory. Their glory is their, their glory, so just praise the Lord. They delight in that. They delight in that. It says 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come, except there be a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And he's been revealed. We reveal in him. All right? We reveal in him because the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai gave us this word and gave us the understanding of this word. As our scripture says, then entered into the house of the Lord and understood his end. All right? Understand his end. So we out here prophesying about his downfall. We prophesied about the end of his kingdom. And that is why we are a nuisance unto them, considered public enemy number one, considered menaces. They consider us menaces to society. It says, who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as Yahweh set it in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself as that he is God, yeah. Personifying himself as God, as the Son of the Most High, as the angels, as the people of the Most High. That is how they present themselves. But the Lord put his spirit on us to come out here. Those people over there in the Middle East, the Israeli and the Jewish. Think about the two names, Jewish, Israeli. But you're not going to go in the Bible and find Israeli and Jewish. You'll find, you might find Jewish fables, but you're not going to find Jewish people. You're not going to find Jewish people or Israeli people. Because they are not the true people of the Most High. Matter of fact, even if they call themselves Israelites, or Judas, Nephtalim, Benjamite, they could call themselves of any tribe. It don't matter. 
It don't matter. They are not the people of the most high. You could call yourself whoever you want. But the scripture says, we read this real quick. It's Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 25. In Yahaba Shemel Shai shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. Seed. And you are not of the seed of the stock of Jacob. So you can call yourself whoever you want. Don't you call us wherever we, we you want? Because they have Trinidadians, Africans, Americans, all kind of names. But guess what? At the end of the day, we still have the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which you are not. Which you are not. So you can call yourself whoever you want. Just because you call yourself Israel don't mean the judgment is going to overpass you. The scripture says, we we'll read this real quick. Acts 15 and 18, known unto Yahweh Shemir Shai are all his works from the beginning of the world. So you tell the Lord don't know who he made or what he made? The Lord knows his people. The Lord knows his people. You can't, the Lord is not mocked. You can't fool the Mosai. You can't pass shield over the Mosai face and, 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 and pull, a, pull a quick one on him. It don't happen that way. Now when the scripture says the Lord will laugh at you because he's seeing his day coming. The matter Thessalonians verse 5. 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 5. You remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know that withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Alright? So you're going to be taken out of the way. It prophesied. It prophesied all over Obidah chapter 1. It prophesied all over that you Edomites will be taken down and go into captivity. So-called white man. And go into captivity. And you know it. It says, And, when, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom Yahabah Shemir Shai will consume with the spirit of his mouth and he being consumed with the spirit of his mouth right now through us, through his prophets alright and shall be destroyed with the brightness of his coming so the Lord come, that is when he physically going to take you out even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders here yeah, because they do real great things all right, they're flying in the plane, they're going under the sea. They, they can be miles away, hundreds, thousands of miles away and still communicate via phone, internet. Yet yeah, they're doing all sorts of things, working miracles. But guess what? They ain't going to save you. It says, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, in them with perishing, because they received. So the, so the ones that are going to be deceived are, deceived are the ones that marvel at the, at the, at the dragon. The ones that love the system. Alright? says, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. So because you want to receive this work, two tools are you going to be destroyed. Amos 9 and 10, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Alright? It says, And for this cause, Yahweh Shemel Shai shall send um then strong delusion that they shall believe a lie so the reason why you people fall in food and food into despair is because the lord don't want you that's why the scripture says thou has greatly Jeremiah 4 and 14 thou has greatly deceived these people in jerusalem saying that there shall be peace when the sword joy to the neck the lord sending that deceiving spirit it says that they might all be damned who believe not the truth and had pleasure in unrighteousness and that is why you people are going to be destroyed. You have pleasure in unrighteousness. You have pleasure in this wicked world, in this wicked kingdom. And the Lord ain't done with that. That is why you're going to be destroyed. Alright? Because you don't want to take heed to this world. But us, the man, you know, we're taking full heed and we're holding fast to this world because we know the world and all things are going to be burnt up. Second Peter 3. 
and we waiting and looking forward to that day hasten to the coming of the lord where the lord gonna bring all things to an end the great reset gonna begin with yaba shimmy and shai and guess what if you consider us menaces then we can we can we can unfill that we can unfill that position because we can stop push this word because if we're pushing this word we are menaces and guess what we're gonna be menaces until the end of the end of, end of the time so with that I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai. I give double honor to the apostles of great mercy that are doing well. Salutations to the men of the whole France, Saint Saint Elect. This is your brother Makazao, here saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.